I got some food and water here. You guys want it? I give food all throughout the week, in a month, maybe 300 times. Anything from a sandwich and a bottle of water to a box of food. When I got out of the service, I hated myself, I hated everyone, would beg the police to shoot me. And, but then I met Liz, she was still in the army. She kind of accepted me for the bum that I was. She saved my life, you know. I joined the service when I was 18 years old, and I ended up doing 23 years and retiring. When you get out of the military, it's hard transitioning back into civilian life. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. I figured this is Doug's passion. He's got a big heart. He just wants to help veterans and homeless. I'm calling Rob to see if uh, he's going to be around to get rid of some of this meat. A lot of times he won't answer the phone. He's paranoid. First of all, take, first of all, take this. I served in both Iraq and Afghanistan. When I got out, I had two back surgeries, hospitalizations for PTSD, depression. It gets to the point where, for some reason, you just don't feel all right. You don't feel like living, I guess. Here. Rob called on a Thursday afternoon and he said to Doug, Man, I feel like committing suicide, and Doug's like, no way, come on over to my house tomorrow, and I'm going to put you to work. I go to the food bank, you can help me deliver food. All right, fill up your bag, all right? We've been to two separate wars. Mine was in the desert, his was in the jungle. All right, Rob, you take Thanks, it easy. Man, okay. I appreciate it. We'll see you, all right? Okay. Bye, Doug. We're not alone when we're fighting this battle when we come home. All veterans have a bond. We all know what's happening inside our struggles.